Folks, what's going on? Heir of Carthage here, and the great Sol Invictus has graced us with yet another episode of Sub Commanders. So I hope you all are ready. Now, the Sub Commanders, he has set given rules for how many, um, like the type of units that each player can bring. You essentially kind of have like a cavalry, a skirmish, and an infantry player. However, like the skirmish player can bring you know, certain types of units, and I believe they have a, you know, a certain budget that each one gets. So you're going to see kind of a separation of roles, though it won't necessarily be just as clean and clear as, like, infantry cavalry skirmishers, right? Oh my gosh, we're going to see an immediate fight here. There's some camel lancers flying in from the other side. I'm going to pause this and take a look at the armies, because we're obviously about to get in some big action. The Odrysians are going to be the cavalry contingent. They've got Thracians, uh, Thracian horsemen, which are kind of a cheap spear horsemen. Then the cavalry general here is a Thracian noble, which is a very powerful cavalry unit, but it looks like three of the Thracian cavalry, which are a nice um, combo melee uh, javelin unit. And then as far as Pontus here, it looks like they're bringing up a, uh, an infantry component. I was kind of expecting to see someone coming in. I guess technically the Iberians are the skirmishers here, so Pontus as the infantry component is an interesting choice because they're not particularly great at infantry. They have some mercenary naked swords here for some high charge damage. And a second line, the front line has some Celtic warriors and hillmen. And then it looks like the back line is Pontic swordsmen, including the general. And then for the Iberians, they're going to have a Lusitani noble general, which is going to be very powerful. There's several units of Scutari spearmen. Uh, I believe spears are kind of a category that the armies bring to with some of the skirmishers. Um, and then we're going to see, uh, it looks like couple of Iberian slingers and some tribesmen over there to protect them. And then so far we can see on the other side some Romans. It looks like a bunch of units of Pastati here, as our dear friend Maximus would have called them, and then some Saki Hestati as well. Uh, we've got um, the Gete here, and it looks like they are rocking the spears. So spear warriors, heavy spears, spears, all kinds of spears, spears on spears. It is spears all over again, so <laughs> spear ex machina, or whatever they call it. Uh, so we got uh, Dacian Bowman here as well for some skirmishers, a noble horse general. And then it looks like the uh, Saba, I believe, are going to be the other faction here. And they've got the cavalry. Marib Camel Cataphracts, really cool unit here. Uh, scares horses, very powerful shock cavalry. It looks like I see another two units of those. And the Camel Lancers that had come in initially, which is an interesting medium shock cavalry. Again, it's going to scare horses. Um, we'll see how that scare horses effect comes down here. Uh, this Roman infantry ought to be pretty good, even though it's a lighter infantry at grinding out, but this is a brutal charge by that Thracian Royal Cavalry. Uh, and this is kind of buying an opportunity for their troops to move up, so it may seem overly sacrificial here. Ooh, look at that. That raised banner going to the whole army, raising up their melee defense. So the Thracian horse are going to back up, hit that Camel Lancer, and then continue to pull back. So very brutal initial charges there from uh, the Odrysians getting extremely aggressive, as Odrysians like to do. Um, so they get in there and are going to fight to the glorious death. And now we've got Pontus about to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with all of these um, Gete spears. This is just an absolute wild mosh pit of a fight up here right now because the players were rushing for this hill. So the terrain kind of made this interesting. Both players did not want to get caught at the bottom of this hill working their way up. And so it caused essentially a rush on both sides. These naked swords uh, may have gotten a good charge there. The hillmen now coming in against the Saki Hestadi. So we're going to see that line of Hestadi continue to push forward. Those Lusitani nobles, if they're held until late in the fight, could be a really effective unit because there's just nothing on the other side that's quite ready to match them. You do have some legionaries here in the back that could help hold them up. So the Romans' best infantry is not up front, but the, the Roman infantry is getting shellacked pretty hard at the moment. Some of it, it is, uh, over here, safer in other spots. And it looks like the Pontus player here is kind of holding back as well, and the Odrysians still being very aggressive on the flank with their horses. I love it. They're getting a chunk of this uh, noble horseman from Gete. And here comes the Saba charging in. Looks like they're going to try and go through their own units to help the Romans here, and they do manage to get rid of some of those hillmen. And let's see where they go. Let's see if they come crashing through into some of these medium to light sword units here. That Celtic warrior going uphill into that Hestadi, that is not going to be a great fight for them. Let's see how this works. Those uh, camel fracks are kind of stuck in their own troops. Looks like they're going to move back now. 
sometimes I think it's just easier to say Camel for X than Camel Cat for X. Um, so here we go. We've got the Thracian Royal Cavalry making another charge. Boy, they're going to crush into that spear unit. They're going to be countercharged by the Camel for X, so they got to get out of there very quickly. And they do. So the Camel Cataphracts get slipped down within their own troops. So they do manage to get away for the most part. And they're going to continue to pull away. Let's look at this infantry engagement. It's not looking great for Rome up front at the moment. So they have brought in their legionaries in a couple of spots. Probably a good idea. This unit might want to come up and help hold the center here as well. Um, Rome should get some pretty good grinding power if they can keep that cavalry out of their flanks and bring these legionaries in. Uh, the Hastati are starting to give way though. So Rome's going to need to shore this up. Ooh, nice rear charge there by the Saba. And they get rid of those Iberian tribesmen, no problem. And they're going to turn around and smash into that Thracian horseman, and they ought to be pretty well there as well. 102 charge bonus right now because of the trample in effect, though the slingers are firing into it. That's a nice job there to get rid of some of those camel cataphracts. Some of them are pushing out here towards the Thracian royal cavalry as well. If that royal cavalry can avoid the charge properly and then get into combat, it ought to do okay against the, uh, the camel cataphracts, but if it takes a charge from them, it's going to be ugly. I do like that the legionaries are going to kind of come hold up the center, but those Lusitani nobles are being held in reserve. They are going to be tough to take down, very tough. Here goes another Hastati routing, so the infantry fight's actually going pretty well for Pontus and um, for the Iberians here. The Thracians are starting to feel the heat of that uh, Sa is it Sabine? Sa Sabine? Sabine cavalry? Saba? Cavalry of Saba? I don't know the right word for it. Is it Sabine? I don't know, but they are crushing right now. They are absolutely crushing. Yeah, they are doing really good. If they can get in here and get some rear charges, they the Romans need that help really bad. They need it, they need it yesterday. <laughs> yeah, look. Now even the legionaries are starting to because they got hit in the rear. It's getting contagious. Ooh. That Pontic General almost put those guys out of commission. These legionary cohorts are very tough, but they're they're just not in a great spot at the moment. Ooh, yeah. This one's having to take on multiple enemies. It's doing quite well, all things considered, but... I don't know how long it can continue those type of fights without the help of those camel cataphracts. That noble's going to come help against the general, and it actually ends up crushing it. And then these uh, Iberian spearmen pulling away to try and intercept the camel cataphracts on this flank. Let's see what happens. Those uh, mercenary naked swords would be an excellent target. They're very lightly armored and would take tons of damage to the cataphracts. Oh my gosh, look at the kills. This unit's about to hit 400 kills. Brutal charge there into those light Pontic infantry. Here comes another cycle charge into some light Iberian infantry. Though those are spears. If they turn around, they will get some damage done because the bonus versus large. But still, I mean, just rocketing over 400 kills. Uh, it does look like the Camel Cataphract General got shut down, but the additional Camel Cataphracts out here are still going strong. So Saba is putting some real serious cavalry pressure. These cycle charges are adding up to tremendous losses. This legionary needs to be saved badly, though. It's getting hit in the rear, though, as these units kind of pull through it here in their attempt to follow others. Let's see whether the Camel Cataphract can save them. There's also a... Nope, that Thracian Cavalry is an enemy, so that... Ooh, I don't know. This is going to be close. That If that legionary cohort routes, it's going to be rough for the Roman team. 500 plus kills. Wow. That is mad. Absolutely bananas. Oh, that legionary cohort held on. Rome doing Rome things there. I wonder if we're going to see 600 kills on a camel cataphract. That is insane. That is by far the most kills I have seen on a shot cavalry in a very long time. It was a target rich environment for these camel cataphracts, and they're going for the Pontic General, I believe, now is also not well braced. And there it goes, up over 600. Another trample charge. I mean, just flying past 600 kills. Wow. And like I said, the Romans doing Roman things here, getting extremely grindy given the opportunity. Camel Cataphract still charging. It may hit 650 kills here briefly. Yeah, it sure is. Just went over it. Holy mackerel. This noble horseman's still alive, which is fortuitous for the red bannered team here. The balance of power, though, says that the uh, the blue bannered team, or it was yellow whenever 
We still had units here from Odrissian Kingdom. It still says that they're in a commanding lead. It must just be the sheer number. Honestly, if these Roman units can't hold out, uh, the army losses are about to mount on them, and if they get the losing melee, they're going to turn out and lose here. So, despite a pretty awesome effort by those legionary cohorts and a magnificent effort by those camel cataphracts, it just isn't going to be enough. I love how that Lusitani noble was held in reserve till late in this fight. It definitely made a big difference here. See those camel cataphracts. Oh, they routed. They managed to get like a couple more kills there, but they routed. That was an insane performance by the Camel Cataphracts. Absolutely insane. So Sol was playing as the Odrissian Kingdom. Uh, honestly, he did pretty well holding off those camels for as long as he did. Um, got some really nice charges in early, which gave his team some good early engagements. I think it helped play a role here for sure. Um, so well done there. And it looks like uh, Licky here is Licky. Um, the Pontus player, uh, really some pretty good performance on some of these naked swords too against some of the light in infantry enemies. So overall, pretty solid performance out of Pontus there. And uh, Frosted here with the Iberians. Again, that Lusitani Noble kept late, ended up being brutally effective. Um, so well done there. And I like the spear support as well. You definitely need a little bit of spear support. Uh, and then Mendoza here bringing in Rome. Uh, those legionaries were definitely showing the Roman uh, valor there. Uh, they just, you know, ultimately ended up getting overmatched, but they were certainly showing what they were made of. And then uh, Wolf here bringing in the Gete. Um, I like this Noble Horseman. It stayed alive late into the game. It did a lot of work trying to keep those back lines free. Uh, but in the end, the uh, the spears here for the uh, the Gete weren't able to add a ton. But again, they, they were very busy fending off enemy cavalry attacks. And they were mostly successful, I think, until late into that game. And then Callie here with the Camel Cataphracts. What a performance. This is bananas. 664 kills, triple chevron, MVP, four days <laughs> out of these Sabaean Camel Cataphracts. <laughs> yeah, wow. That, the, okay, so there was the Marib Camel Cataphracts, the Sabaean ones here, apparently were the ones that were absolutely crushing. I didn't notice it was a different unit. That's an incredible performance. Uh, by that unit. So well done to all players. Thank you very much for this uh, awesome sub commanders episode, Soul. We definitely appreciate you. Hope you all enjoyed it. Air of Carthage signing out for now. I'll see you soon with some more action in Total War Rome 2.